Hey everyone and welcome to week 19 I believe it is of the OLED burning test as we just let this run through again just as usual what I'll do is just go through the actual usage for the past week so main usage for the past week has actually been slightly different so because of the return of the Premier League football um, I've actually personally been using it more for football this past week it has still had some gaming on it um, possibly two or three days in the week and when it has been gamed on generally that's been for probably th between three and say five hours um, there's been a couple of the Fortnite events that my son's taken part in and basically that's been the main main usage in terms of the gaming side um, I'm just trying to look through the actual viewfinder because I thought I saw something on the viewfinder that I'm not actually seeing on screen but I'll just let it run through again it could have just been the the angle I was stood at against the phone screen uh, no all looks clear um, on the football side obviously um, I've made a few videos on the actual Premier League games and the IPTV and um, that those sort of things and essentially I found different channels that I'm actually making use of um, originally NBCSN would have been my preferred uh, channel I have actually found a different one Spark Sports on the IPTV channels and basically that it has less logos on some of the games I've had to use Optus Sports that has a kind of Scion and red logo which I, I don't particularly like in the top right hand corner um, Spark Sports for anybody who has that on IPTV generally what they have is they have the scorecard and clock in the top left and then they'll have the Premier League logo which is basically embossed onto every stream out there um, in the bottom right um, and I also made a quick video um, this week um, regarding the logo luminance and how that actually affects it and how over time it basically dims those two areas but also because it's only those two areas and not also the top right um, it essentially helps protect the panel a little against uh, potential burn-in um, I'm just looking at the actual panel as it's cycling through as, uh, as well as obviously trying to explain everything to you and it all looks very clean to me um, can't see anything in the normal kind of areas especially with the the football side of things obviously with it being a return um, we've basically had back-to-back um, -back games uh, since since it's come back and essentially it's meant that there's been a lot more games on um, in a more condensed uh, period of time so because of that obviously sometimes there's three games in a row where I've actually got them I'm not actually watching all of them uh, generally there'll only be maybe one or two that I'll actually be interested in but when you've been without football for this long then obviously it's it's one of those things where you just want to put it on just because um, you have missed it so much and obviously this week especially with Liverpool finally winning the, the Premier League after 30 years it's, it's been quite a big big week for me personally um, there's been a couple of movies and we've also been watching um, a TV series um, that's mainly been towards night time once the kids have gone to sleep possibly one or two episodes and um, so it's, it's had a, a general mix kind of usage but primarily it's been sports this week and gaming so because of that obviously that it runs more of a risk in terms of static logos and things like that um, now I just want to touch on something else which was the recent update apparently some people are reporting that the latest firmware update has actually caused them the, the Dolby Vision bug so um, it's been reported on the CX models that the Dolby Vision blacks aren't actually pure black they're getting greys instead of blacks so they're never actually getting utilizing that OLED that OLED panel and apparently some people have reported since the update which was only meant to be an audio update so if you look through the the logs it was only meant to have been mainly audio improvements going um, basically switching on EOC essentially but some people have reported in the comment section and also online that um, since they've updated basically they've actually started seeing that particular bug now I personally haven't actually consumed enough Dolby Vision content to know whether that's actually affecting me or not um, but obviously if it is and that's something that obviously it wasn't there before then it is very disappointing because obviously that's something that LG whether they've done it intentionally or unintentionally they've basically 
would have made certain people's C9s worse right at the time when the CX is struggling to sell. So it, it looks kind of fishy. Um, it just doesn't doesn't go down very well when basically you do an update like that. I mean, most people in the comments on my update video um, did actually, they were very hesitant to actually update. Everybody was like, no, wait, let it, let it be confirmed before you, you allow any updates. And obviously for some people, it's, it's obviously being proven right. Now, as we come towards the end of the video, um, I just want to try and concentrate on the actual, um, the different colors and the possible branding or anything like that. I mean, for me personally, it is about one in the morning. So my eyes are a little fatigued at the moment anyway, but everything looks, looks nice and clean. Zero um, areas of concern for me right now. And that's it.